Hey, this is Bravity, and this is my Google autocomplete interview. All right, let's do this. Board number one, thank you. How old is Bravity M? I am 24 years old at the moment. How many questions are there? 40. 40? That's so much. I don't think I can rip 40 of these. Yeah, no, I'm not doing this. All right, so we're not gonna do the whole video in that autocorrect fake interview style. So welcome back to the studio. We're gonna be finishing the Q&A here in just a normal Q&A fashion, not in the autocorrect, but we are gonna switch it up just a little bit. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this mic away because we're gonna be using a lav mic. So I'm gonna clip this onto myself. And the reason we're gonna use a lav mic is because I'm gonna finish the video just in various parts around my house. I might even go outside just because I wanna change up the video a little bit. I wanna do something a little bit different. So we're gonna be using the lav mic and we're gonna move around the house and just answer questions, a couple questions in each area, just because I wanna switch up the video and why not make this video harder to make? Cause I'm trying to get it out before the end of the year. I'm not quite sure if this is my last video of the year or my first video of next year. It is currently 12.18 p.m. right now, so we have about 12 hours to get this done before New Year's, or it's gonna be my first video of next year instead of my last video of this year. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip this mic on real quick instead of holding it, and we're gonna begin the questions. There we go, we're all clipped on, and it is time to begin the questions. I've got all of them on my phone here. We've got a lot of questions to go through. I think in total we've got like almost 50 questions to answer, so I'm either going to go through and just pick out my favorite ones that I wanna answer in this video, or we'll split it up into two different Q and A's, and I'll do another one down the line. But we have got a lot of questions to go through. Why did you start doing a YouTube After Effects slash tutorial channel, and in the future do you think you will start a gaming channel? So. I started doing a YouTube After Effects and tutorial channel on accident. If you go back to the beginning of my channel, you'll see that I was primarily releasing gaming content and I just started a YouTube channel to start posting like Fortnite clips and Fortnite videos. You see a lot of people saying on the internet that the quickest way to grow on like YouTube is to find something you're good at and then teach other people how to do that thing. And my whole life I've been a filmmaker, a video editor, a uh, videographer. So I figured I'd take my knowledge of video creation and start teaching some people and uh, here we are. So now I am doing a bunch of tutorials on how to do graphics and how to shoot videos and that kind of stuff. So um, do I think I'll start a gaming channel? I'm not gonna say no, but my whole idea when I started this channel is I wanted it to be a variety channel. I wanna be able to do whatever I want on this YouTube channel. I don't wanna have separate channels. Now down the line, I might change my mind. I might think a gaming channel sounds like a good idea, but at the moment, I'd love to try to keep everything on one channel and just do everything here and focus on growing this channel and not have to worry about content for two separate channels, you know? So at the moment, no, but uh, who knows, maybe. Next question, who inspires you and why? Oh boy, this is a big one. Um, who inspires me? Um, pretty much every friend I have IRL inspires me, but if you're thinking of people that you might know that inspire me, um, people like Harris Heller from Alpha Gaming, soon to be Senpai Gaming, uh, Sam Woodall inspires me. A big inspiration is Peter McKinnon, and another massive inspiration is MKBHD, Marquez Brownlee from MKBHD. He, uh, every time I watch his videos, I just wanna make better videos, and I just wanna make videos every time I watch him create his. So those four are uh, big ones. I've got a ton that I can't really think of right now, but um, those four are huge. How did you start doing graphics? Um, well, I have always been interested in video production and creating videos and films and whatnot since I was like eight years old. It's, I always knew I wanted to go into video production. And uh, as I did that, I slowly started getting into After Effects because After Effects is what you use to create visual effects inside of movies and things like that. Um, and then inside of After Effects, you can do graphics as well. So as I learned After Effects to kind of mess with live footage and create visual effects, I started messing around with motion graphics. I got a job at a studio that required me to do a lot of motion graphics work. Um, and I learned a lot of it through there, but my whole life I've been doing video production, graphics, shooting, editing, that kind of stuff. So uh, pretty much since the start, I've been doing that. Number five, can you do something on different softwares? For example, DaVinci Resolve? Yes, I can. I do plan to. I've been editing a lot in DaVinci Resolve recently. About like five of the videos on the channel recently have been on DaVinci Resolve. If you can tell which ones they are, that's uh, 
that's impressive. But yes, I've been editing in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut, trying to stay sharp on all of those so that I can start doing tutorials in more softwares other than just the Adobe programs. So yes, you could probably see that in the future next year. Do you put pineapple on pizza? If so, why? I do not. I've tried it and I didn't immediately go, that's disgusting, but uh, it is not my go-to order, no. I would not typically eat pineapple on pizza. Next question, did you do well in school? Being completely honest, no, not really. Um, it kind of depends on the subject. I love to learn, I love math, I love science, you guys know this. Um, I used to want to be an astrophysicist before I really got into doing professional video production, um, but I didn't enjoy the way the school system taught it. I didn't like the way they taught math. I didn't like the way they taught science and physics. So in school, I had a hard time paying attention and learning that. So I got passing grades. Obviously, I did graduate and I did well enough that I could graduate. But uh, I really learned most of my knowledge about math, science and all that stuff on my own outside of school just because of the way they taught it was not that great. But I love math, love science, just not. I don't love school. <laughs> Out of all the cameras you have worked with and owned, what is your favorite one and why? Um, <clears throat> out of all of my cameras that I've ever owned, I would say my favorite one to work with has been the Ursa Mini Pro. Um, and I did see that there was another question on here asking if there was one camera that you don't have that you've always wanted, what is it? And that is also going to be the Ursa Mini Pro. And I actually did own that camera. Before the one I'm shooting on now, I owned the Ursa Mini Pro. But when I had the Ursa Mini Pro, I had it before Blackmagic had announced and released their uh, format called B-RAW, which made the camera way better. When I had it, there wasn't much support for the camera. The camera was very new. It wasn't very great to use. And um, when I started doing YouTube, it kind of wasn't great for YouTube. So surprisingly, my favorite camera I've ever owned, um, if you include the B-RAW, if it had the B-RAW plugin now, is the Ursa Mini Pro, and if I had to have any camera now, it would be the Ursa Mini Pro as well. So a camera I already have is the one that I would want. All right, new location, let's do this. First question here, is it pronounced GIF or JIF? I'm about to upset some people, I feel like, but I almost exclusively say GIF. Um, I just dropped my phone. If you say JIF, run along. <laughs> uh, do you script your videos or is it all done on the spot? Well, it kind of depends on the video. Um, usually I'll write out bullet points of what I want to cover, especially if it's like a tutorial or something advanced inside of After Effects. I'll definitely write out bullet points of where I want to go so that I stay on topic in the video and I don't end up with like an hour long recording. I'll have them in a Google Drive document that I kind of share with my brother who is managing me at this point and helping to manage the YouTube channel. So we'll have all these bullet points so I stay on topic, um, but I don't actually like script out words and like line for line what I want to say because I feel like that comes off as very un natural. I want to be natural. I want to just talk to the camera. Why is Apple better than Android? Well, um, I prefer Apple. You guys know that I use an iPhone. I use a MacBook. I love Apple. I love the ecosystem. But at this point, the Apple versus Android argument kind of is dead or it needs to die. Everyone should know by now, iPhones are incredibly powerful phones. They're amazing. They have great cameras. They're awesome phones. All the Android phones out there are incredible phones. They're very powerful. They're super customizable. They have great cameras. The phones at this point have just become preference. There's no good or bad phone. Just choose whatever operating system you like. I like the Apple operating system. I like iOS. I like that my phone can communicate with my laptop. I can use AirDrop and iMessage to send things back and forth like YouTube thumbnails. I like the Apple ecosystem, but if you like Android, good job. What inspired you to create these types of videos? Well, I kind of answered this before, and that's just because I like to teach. Um, I got lucky that I learned video production when I was younger, um, but now everyone wants to make videos, everyone wants to have a YouTube channel, so I got lucky that I knew all that knowledge, so I can now take that knowledge and teach everyone that's wanting to be a YouTuber or wanting to stream on Twitch, and that's what everyone said to do. If you know something well, teach it, and I know something well, and now everyone wants to learn what I know well, so I'm teaching it, and that's kind of what inspired me to create the videos I'm creating now. <sighs> oh boy, this question is a doozy. How did you get the motivation to keep streaming and grinding YouTube when you were below 1K subs or even below 100 subs? Well, this question is kind of hard to answer because I was asking myself the same thing like two months ago. So when you have a YouTube channel, you're gonna pay attention to the numbers. Everyone says to not pay attention to the numbers, but when you're first starting out, 
that is absolutely impossible. You're gonna pay attention to the numbers. And when you're peaking, when your numbers are up, it's gonna feel great. But when they start to come down, when they hit a valley, it's going to feel awful. And recently I had a little bit of a valley coming. I started to dip down a little bit. My numbers came down. And at that point I started to question how I was gonna stay motivated. How do you stay motivated? And then I started questioning, how did I stay motivated when I was getting like 30 views on a video? And the answer is, surrounding yourself with the right people. There's a lot of people out there that have helped me stay motivated to creating videos, surrounding yourself with a group of people that are like-minded, that are all grinding for the same thing. Andrew Ellis, Stallion, people like that, they have all helped me so much to keep me motivated to keep making videos, and I hope I've done the same thing for them. Everyone in the group just kind of keeps an eye on everyone, make sure everyone's grinding, and it makes it a lot easier to stay motivated when you have a group of people with you that are all doing the same thing. What are your 2021 goals for your YouTube channel? Well, I recently tweeted about this. I don't like goals very much. I mean, I'll keep internal goals for myself, but I don't like publishing goals. Um, for some reason, I don't know. I feel like maybe if I didn't hit the goal, I would feel bad if people knew that I didn't hit my goal. I don't know, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Um, for YouTube, I think I would like to have 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If I don't hit that, I'm gonna try to stay positive. I don't care, but I'm gonna put it out there. I'm hoping to have 15,000 by the end of 2021. And then also, what are your Twitch goals for 2021? Um, right now, Twitch is kind of on the back burner because I really wanna focus on the YouTube channel, but I really like to have a set Twitch schedule by the end of the year, be streaming regularly more often. And I do plan to stream a lot sooner than you think. And I'd like to have like a thousand or 2000 followers on Twitch maybe, but mostly just having a set schedule for streaming is my Twitch goals. It may be 30 degrees outside, but I still think, I still think this is a good idea, this location here. I don't know how long I'll last, but let's keep going. Can you do a stream dedicated to helping people with things in After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop? Yes, I will be streaming a lot more content creation stuff, editing, graphics creation very soon. A lot more than gaming, I can tell you that. What made you become a professional editor? Do you have any advice for someone struggling with keeping a schedule for content creation? Yes, um, I do have some advice. Stay consistent, but don't publish to the world that you're gonna be consistent. Try to post a video maybe like once a week, once every two weeks, but don't come out and say, I'm gonna have a new video every single week because that's just gonna put unnecessary stress on you when you have to put out a video. If people are expecting a video, that's gonna stress you out. Just do it every week on your own without telling people and the consistency is gonna help you out. But if you miss a week, you're not gonna beat yourself up about it because people aren't gonna be there expecting it. You know what I mean? Do you still play Minecraft at all? Yes, I play Minecraft a lot. Um, I have the server that a lot of my Twitch subs play on. It's been a little bit dormant recently because I don't stream on Twitch very often, but um, I have a personal server that me and my brother play on, and that one is very active. I play on that one quite a bit, actually. I love, I love Minecraft. When did you start making YouTube videos for the first time and what was the topic? Um, I had a Minecraft YouTube channel a couple years ago. Some of you guys have found it, some of you haven't. Um, but I did have a Minecraft YouTube channel that is still out there. I did a lot of redstone work and Let's Plays, but the first time I started making YouTube videos was probably in middle school or early high school, and it was like sketch comedy stuff, um, probably, is the first time I did that. I've had a lot of YouTube channels. Most of them don't exist anymore, but I have had a lot. Any tips on how you can grow in subscribers? Consistency. The algorithm rewards big time consistency. So try to post a video every week, maybe every two weeks, but I would try for every single week. I started posting videos every single week and it's been going on for over a year now and it's worked out pretty well. YouTube loves consistency. So try to put out a video every single week and make it a really good video. One good video every single week is much better than just a bunch of garbage every single day. So be consistent, but make sure they're good videos. Have you ever filmed a video not in your basement? Yes, I have. <laughs> um, but more seriously, um, I have filmed a video not in my basement. Um, the first videos on my channel were actually in my parents' basement. And then when I got my own house, um, they're now filmed in my basement, in my studio. But uh, I would say that this video is actually the first video that's probably not shot in a basement. The beginning in the uh, autocorrect stuff was shot in a studio and now I'm shooting outside. So this is probably the first, I like it. Maybe we'll do it more. I do wanna shoot outside more because I have a lot of videos on how to shoot outside um, and how to make it look good outside, kind of like this. And with that, I am freezing. So I'm gonna go inside. This location is done. <sighs> okay, outside might've been a mistake, but we're inside, we're warm now. And I think that is the end of the questions, but not the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. Let's go ahead and pop that off. 
go ahead and bring this back in like our typical videos just to end this one and i wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and for watching every single video this year it has been a crazy year with a crazy amount of growth 2020 um it's a strange year it is a strange year but i definitely enjoyed it from a youtube aspect i started the year with 920 subs and about just under 50,000 channel views and we're finishing now with over 6,500 subs like 6,750 subs and over 500,000 channel views over half a million channel views so I just wanted to say thank you so much for this year and for all the growth and for watching all of these videos I hope you guys enjoy every single one of them and I hope you enjoyed this Q&A and to end this one I wanted to do something kind of interesting if you're watching this right now if you made it this far in the video I'd love for you to just go down in the comment section and comment just banana just the word banana if you're gonna comment before if you're a regular commenter you can definitely comment your other comment whatever you're gonna say I love reading all the comments but comment a separate one that just says banana I'd love to know how many of you stick around to watch to this point after I've already said it's the end of the video after I've done my whole and that's pretty much it I want to know how many people stick around to this point but I hope you guys enjoyed it this is either my last video of 2020 or my first video of 2021 I'm gonna try to make it my last one of 2020 so hopefully I get it edited tonight and I will see you guys in the next video and next year or this year depending on when i get this done <laughs> see ya